What does 5-amino-1-MQ do? 5-amino-1-MQ has surged in popularity for good reason. It's not technically a peptide. However, it does fit into the category of peptides because it activates more signaling in the body. And I think signaling medicine is the medicine that gently allows your body to achieve optimized health in the most gentle way possible with the lowest amount of downside side effects. The interesting thing that we're going to uncover in this video is we're gonna talk about longevity, we're gonna talk about metabolic function, muscle health, inflammation, all the great things that we're learning about 5-amino-1-MQ. So you're going to understand exactly what this molecule does and how you can do some natural things to activate some of the pathways that it's working on. So I'm Reagan Archibald, I'm the founder of Ageless Future. I am obsessed with helping you achieve optimized health in the shortest amount of time possible by utilizing medical innovations. If you wanna work with my team, go to agelessfuture.com and we've got a phenomenal medical team who can help you put together a physician-led peptide protocol that allows you to achieve the health that you've always wanted. So 5-amino-1-MQ, what does it do? First of all, it inhibits this pathway called NNMT. Now, NNMT is its nicotinamide and methyltransferase, and it's a pathway discovered in the 50s, but you fast forward to the year 2014, 2015, researchers tested thousands of molecules to try to turn off this pathway. Why is NNMT a dangerous pathway? Well, it promotes cancer. It can actually cause obesity and metabolic dysfunction. It also causes our bodies to be inflamed and to collect more fat. So if you're somebody who just is trying to put on a lot of fat, then 5-amino-1-MQ may not be the best solution for you. But if you're somebody who really loves to have this supercharged metabolic system where you feel great, you have the energy that you want, 5-amino-1-MQ, I would keep a close eye on it because it does seem to have some really powerful benefits. So one of the things that it does is it works on your body's own NAD salvage pathway. NAD is a molecule that's a sirtuin activator, and that means it cleans up the cells. When you activate specifically SIRT1, you start changing the DNA in the cell, so your DNA start getting better signaling. Now, one thing, David Sinclair, he's got a book that talks about the fact that, that you can use NAD and the precursors to create better cellular replication. And if you can have cellular replication where you get young cells instead of poor cellular replication, that's one way you can reverse your aging. But with 5-amino-1-MQ and some of the studies, they found that your NAD can increase upwards of 150 to 160%, and it's NAD you're making on your own. The other thing you'll have is improved metabolism. You'll also stop what's called lipogenesis, or when you inhibit NNMT, you turn off your body's recruitment of new fat cells, and then you preferentially start activating the white fat and turn it into beige fat so it can be used as an energy source. So the other thing is you're getting this reparative action on the DNA, so it can work on the longevity pathways. You get an uptick in what's called AMPK. The AMPK is powerful because what it does is it allows you to have a secondary energy supply. And then it also reduces methylation drain. And if you've tested like your MTHFR, or if your body just needs more time to recover, you don't detoxify very well, what we're learning about NNMT, it does consume your nicotinamide and niacinamide. It also impacts your SAMe pathway, which is your methyl donor. And so by inhibiting this, you have SAMe is preserved, your methylation improves, you also see more epigenetic stability, and your body will have less of this biological burden, so you'll age a little bit slower. Some of the things that we found is it does shrink the white fat cells. So if you think of fat, it's not just like this 
thing that just melts off of our body, you actually need to turn on the engine so that that fat can get metabolized and converted to energy. So when you shrink these adipocytes or these white fat cells, you're turning on this new pathway for energy. You'll have more NAD and then more AMPK. We've also seen liver fat decreases, body weight decreases, even cholesterol has come down in these animal models. Once again, this is not medical advice, this is me sharing with you how 5-amino-1-MQ works and what it does. It can reduce total fat without dieting. In animal models, they found that mice, when fed a high-fat diet that led to diabetic, obese mice, they found that by adding 5-amino-1-MQ, they had less subcutaneous fat, lower levels of visceral fat, and they also had lower quantities of adipocytes, or those are the precursors for new fat cells. They found the lipid metabolism improved, lower cholesterol, lower LDL levels, and lower triglycerides. And so they got the similar impacts as you would if you were fasting, which fasting is a great thing. Once a week, you want to put yourself in a caloric restriction. It improved insulin sensitivity. So anytime you turn on AMPK, you also have less resistance of energy or glucose making it into the cell because the fat is not recruiting it. So when NNMT is expressed, not only are you going to recruit more white fat, more fat cells, more inflammation, more cancerous cells, and so you reduce your risk of metabolic syndrome. You also support cardiovascular longevity. One of the other things that 5-amino-1-MQ does is it helps in skeletal muscle regeneration. Now this is important, I call this the ageless axis. So you want to focus on your brain, your heart or your cardiorespiratory system and your muscles. And 5-amino-1-MQ, what they found is it works on the satellite cells and the muscles. So your strength improves, your power and endurance improves and you have better recovery. You'll notice that you have more proprioception, so you feel lighter on your feet. It also helps prevent sarcopenia, which is probably the biggest risk that we have when we age, is the loss of muscle mass, because at the age of 65, you fall and break the head of your femur, your chances of dying increase by 50% that year. So we don't want you to do that. It also helps with post-training and then it helps with the longevity fitness. So if you're doing the Fitness 50 benchmarks and if you want to check out my Fitness 50 at age 100 tool that I created for Dan Sullivan, Make sure you look up Fitness 50 at age 100 and you'll see a video and test yourself on that. On longevity, when you activate NAD, when you have more NAD, you activate CERT1 and AMP kinase, improve methylation, and then your cells become more stress resilient. You become resistant to inflammatory triggers like the IL-6 and the tumor necrosis factor alpha. You become more resistant to oxidative stress. This is really important because we are burdened by a lot of oxidative stress as we age. And then you have better DNA repair. It's preserving the SAM function, so you have better methylation, and it upregulates sirtuins while boosting this uh, beautiful pathway called NAD. The other thing that has been discovered is by activating SIRT1, you'll have lower NF-kappa beta activity that will drop. You'll have less chronic inflammation, less pain, Pain, and then you'll also have more signaling to clear out senescent cells. So even using 5-amino-1-MQ with like FOXO4, this may be the, a critical lever for reversing aging. Some of the other things, if NNMT is overexpressed, this is where you can get uh, metastatic phenotypes of cancer. You block NN NNMT. In vitro, at least, they found that you block some of the tumor proliferation. So there's a lot of interesting things as you dive into this peptide or into this small molecule. And 5-amino-1-MQ does seem to check all of the boxes. Yes, we have more research that needs to be done, more things that need to be uncovered, but generally speaking, there's so many functions that make 5-amino-1-MQ a superior signaling molecule that does put it in kind of the peptide classification. So if you love this video and if you want to go deeper in your health journey, if you want to really see how to align your health span with your lifespan, go to agelessfuture.com, do your free health span assessment, work with our team of very talented medical providers, and we'll figure out exactly what's going to be the best solution and the best strategy for you to achieve your future health as quickly as possible. I'm Reagan Archibald. Thanks for being part of this channel. I'll see you on the next video.